This steps ain't no square dance. That's all right, I dance in circles, probably around you. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hardest ballet moves. Why don't you just try this? I could work on it. You do that. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the most difficult moves in one of the most difficult dance styles ever invented. In fact, Ballet recently placed in Watch Mojo's top 10 most difficult dance styles to learn. Check it out! Here, we'll be excluding techniques like en point, however. If you think we left out a particularly tricky ballet move, please tell us about it in the comments. Vids or it didn't happen. Number 10. Cabriole People who aren't ballet dancers themselves may not be familiar with this term. It's a French word meaning caper. In essence, a cabriole is a jump where one leg comes up and the other follows, taps it, then comes back down. It can be done in different ways, with a big jump or a little one, to the front or to the back. But it is a difficult step to master, because the higher leg must stay up while the lower leg moves and both legs have to be straight. Also, the landing is expected to look light and graceful, even though the dancer is coming down on just one foot. Number 9. Arabesque While it can be considered a technique depending on how or when it's used, this graceful position is also a move that's common in ballet dancing. However, that does not mean it's easy to execute. The arabesque requires great balance and flexibility. The dancer stands on one foot and extends the other leg back, straight, parallel to the floor. The head is held high, the lower back arched, and the rear toes pointed. The dancer's arms must also look graceful, of course, so they can't be used to steady the body. One usually extends forward, while the other can be in a number of positions. An arabesque may begin a dance, lead into another move, or sometimes simply stay in place for everyone to admire. Number 8. Pirouette The pirouette is another move that every ballet dancer must have in their repertoire. Basically, it's a spin, or twirl, done on the tip of one foot. That's just the beginning, however. One must consider the placement of the arms, head, and other leg. Also, dancers rarely do just one pirouette and stop. I want a clean double. I'm sorry, I thought there was enough music for three. I mean, wouldn't it be better if we all did a triple? In order to spin multiple times, they use a technique called spotting, where the head faces forward as long as possible, then snaps around for the next turn. This may sound unnecessarily complicated, but in fact, spotting is essential to keep dancers from becoming dizzy or disoriented when they have to perform multiple pirouettes. Number 7. Piquet Turn now imagine that instead of turning in one place, you have to perform several turns while moving across the floor. That is the pique turn, or pique en tournant. Unlike a pirouette, which has a brief preparatory pose, the pique turn begins with a step. After turning, the dancer takes another step, and then another turn, and so on, traveling in one direction. Spotting is just as vital in this move as in the pirouette, if not more, because the dancer must keep track of both the front of the stage and the way they're going. Number 6. 
It is easy to lose balance in this move, and once lost, it's hard to get back. See the, the head coming over that second shoulder gives the, the succinct, clean technique. Number six, Palshi. Remember the arabesque? Well, this is like that, only harder. Penché means leaning in French, and in this move, the dancer leans far forward with one leg supporting and the other coming straight up to make a split. The position obviously requires excellent leg flexibility and balance, but some people don't realize how much sheer strength is needed as well. The dancer has to keep their upper body raised on one side and their leg on the other, engaging all their core muscles. While most amateur dancers could probably do a passable arabesque, only professionals can pull off the full vertical penché. Number 5. Tour de Rang The Tour de Rang, which means turn of the back, is an unusual ballet move. The legs are spread and the knees stay bent, for instance, and the entire body leaves the ground for the turn. Because the step is more conducive to pants than a skirt, it is traditionally performed by men, but not always. The reason it is also called a barrel turn is because the whole body spins at once, like a barrel, all parts together. It is a wild, risky movement, easy to get wrong, whether in timing or in balance. However, it's impressive when done well, like the rest of the moves on our list. Number 4. Grand Jeté Now we're getting into the big jumps. As you can imagine, any high leap requires strength and agility. In the case of a grand jeté, though, that's just the beginning. In this jump, the dancer must do a complete horizontal split in the air. So even though the move itself goes by quickly, it requires a lot of preparation and practice to master. Before doing a grand jeté, the dancer builds momentum with a quick run or hop. They lift their front leg, jump into the air, and do the split. Last, of course, they have to land on one foot, looking light and graceful. It's not just a move, it's a whole process. Number 3. Italian Fuite There are two kinds of Fuite. Don't worry, we'll get to the other. This one, the Italian Fuite, is a bit like a pendulum, which looks very graceful and elegant when it's done right. The move begins with a high kick, then the dancer brings that leg down quickly, using it to make a turn, and by the end of the turn, the leg has come up again on the other side. If they want, they can kick forward and do the move again. In theory, a dancer could keep doing these over and over. In practice, however, it is usually done only a few times. And as you'll know if you've ever tried it, that's quite enough. Number 2. Grand Adage Unlike most of the entries on our list, this section of a grand pas is done slowly, and that's exactly what's so difficult about it. The ballet dancer must demonstrate incredible strength and balance by doing a series of attitudes and similar poses, slowly, but without stopping. They lift one leg in one direction, hold it there, then move it into another position, and another, and later on, they go through the same exercise with the other leg. While 
the grand adage doesn't occur in many ballets, it may be part of ballet tests and auditions for advanced classes, as it gives the judges a chance to assess the dancer's endurance. Highly necessary for ballet performances, which often run for several hours. And go. All the way. All the way, two shoulders, allonge. And go, one. And... Yes. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Frappé. Not coffee-related, quick, striking foot movements used as a warm-up. Because the leg is actually it's easier way up there, it's easier. It's difficult to control at 45 degrees and it's still to be articulate and beautiful. Butterfly, a jump with a quick outward kick, like butterfly wings. This is uh, my hard move because it's the coordination of getting off the floor and reaching the height in one count. Double tour, tricky jump with two turns. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Fuite This is what most dancers mean by fuite, although it is also called the Russian fuite. It looks less complicated than the Italian version, since it refers to a single movement of the leg. However, it wouldn't be at the top if it were easy. In fact, the pirouette is an essential part of it. The dancer's leg kicks out and back in at the end of a turn, giving them the necessary momentum to keep spinning. One of the most famous fuite sequences is from Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake, in which the black swan performs 32. 32 turns on one foot using just that single movement, an extraordinary feat of gravitational defiance, and a fitting end to our list. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.